Okay, well, it says I'm live. And we got a couple people in the chat. They go live on Instagram too. SGC, can you hear me? Okay, three, three watchers right now. Now we're up to four. Got three on Instagram. Hey, what's up, Dubious Blanco? What's up, Alex J? Ethan Balsam coming in. Someone just said Jake on YouTube. Your name is in Chinese characters. Do I know you? What's up, Mathis? It is my favorite yo yo, yo yo word, Jake Elliott. What's up, Chris? Long time no see. How's life in Kalamazoo? Hey, what's up? Unquiet. We got Batman just joined. That's pretty exciting. Uh, teach Boingy Boing. I'm pretty sure we already have a tutorial for Boingy Boing on our YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure we just updated it. It's pretty good. Uh, you might want to check that out. Uh, hey, what's up, Ozzy? Uh, what's up, Sprite? Glad that you learned some 5A from me. What's up, Yo-Yo Kid Pete? Man, people are really pouring in. Uh, attention. Thanks for attention. Hello. Okay. Uh... All right, so only have a couple. Can you show us a cool trick? Yep, we'll definitely get to some new tricks, to, to some cool tricks, rather. Uh, what about the new cannon? Uh, do you mean the B-rate cannon? I have one right here. I uh, want to show you guys some cool tricks with it, some new stuff I've been working on. Get to that a little bit later. Uh, glad to hear your life's going well, Chris. It's always good to hear. How's my quarantine going? Honestly, I'm like an introvert to the max. So I've been loving quarantine. It's, uh, it's been working out really well for me. Uh, not to say that it hasn't been going rough for a lot of other people, but you know, I'm uh, happy to be in fortunate circumstances right now. Do you know when the Galaxy Marble Replay Pro is back in stock? So Yo-Yo Factory is currently out of stock of that. Um, obviously that's the most popular color of the replay. We want to get it up as soon as possible. Um, but we're just gonna have to wait until the area factory makes more. Hopefully that's very soon. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad you think this live stream is awesome. This is, I'm having a lot of fun right now. Do the B grade atlases have a shiny finish or a blasted finish like the A grade ones? Uh, they have a shiny finish. It isn't right to say that they're perfectly shiny and not blasted at all. Um, but really it's it's mostly shiny. It's not really, really intensely sandblasted. Hi, please say my name. My name is Rayan. Rayan. I'm pretty sure I got that right. You let me know. Play Fortnite? No, I'm not playing Fortnite. I, I said your name. I said your name. Uh, what is my favorite yo-yo for 1A? Uh, well, right now I have to say that it's a prototype that we're working on. Uh, more details to follow. It is something that maybe you guys have heard about. We might have started teasing this in our live streams. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's coming out pretty soon, hopefully. And it's, it's a really cool yo-yo. You guys are really, really gonna like it. I love it. Codename Pelican or Solstice. Uh, one of those is the official name. One of the, those was the, uh, the code name that I originally came up with when I was designing the yo-yo. Uh, so you'll find out which is which very soon. Do yo-yo for fun outside of yo-yo. So what do you do for fun outside of yo-yo? Uh, not a lot, quite frankly. Can you beg Larry? Uh, I can only do a little bit. A little bit of the 5A skill that I've developed over time transfers over to that. Um, but mostly I can't do any cool tricks or anything. I can just do the basic like flips. Watch all of your 2014 5A May and learn a lot of new cool tricks. Very happy to hear that, Mathis. Uh, the, the pink B-grade Atlas. Uh, it grinds all right. It's not gonna be the best grinding yo-yo that you're ever gonna come across, but um, especially the, the, uh, the finger spin area or the finger grind area rather on the Atlas. That's super effective and it works really, really well just, just due to the nature of the shape of it. So um, as long as you're going for finger grinds in particular, you should have a really fun time with the Atlas. Would you say Adam is better at yo-yos than you? Uh, well, I think that most reasonable people would agree that I'm better at 5A than Adam is. But other than that, he is, you know, he's a very competent two-way player, off-string player. Um, so I'd say Adam's skill set is more well-rounded, especially when it comes to other skill toys. He can do things like juggle, he can uh, 
probably do Kendama more effectively than I can. You can definitely do Diablo more effectively than I can. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I would answer that. Hello, Dr. Wee. Ultraweight is best weight. Uh, the Ultraweight is a really good counterweight, uh, but uh, you should see some of the stuff that I'm working on behind the scenes right now. I think you guys are really, going to be really, really excited when you see uh, some of the new counterweights that I'm working on. What do you think about the butter? I'm assuming that you mean the uh, bimetal shutter, and I like it a lot. I think it's the best version of the shutter to ever come out. Um, I really, really like the feel of it. And if I was Gentry Stein, I'd be competing with it. It's good yo-yo. Uh, I wonder if I can change how quickly these comments go away, because I'm having a really uh, tough time keeping up. Okay, there we go, cool. Adam is saying you are starting reviewing Magic Yo-Yos when you start, please. Uh, yeah, so I just finished stocking up all the Magic Yo-Yos uh, in our little storehouse, and uh, hopefully those will be coming up pretty soon, uh, within the next few weeks, certainly. So the codename Pelican and Solstice are the same yo-yo. Uh, yes, they are the same yo-yo. Tips for new 5A player. Uh, yeah, so the first thing that you want to do when you're starting 5A is you want to shorten your string. Shorter strings are much, much, much easier to work with, uh, especially when you have to deal with the yo-yo on one end of the string and the counterweight on the other end of the string. So that's really the most important thing to shorten your string. Um, other than that, learn my 5A Fundamentals series. You know, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I, I really stand behind the teaching method that I employed in that video series. And if you learn all the tricks, you'll have a really good foundation um, to be competent generally at 5A. Do you have any tips for horizontal play? I watched the video and struggling with mounting and binds. Uh, I recommend that you watch some of the horizontal tutorials I did on yoyotricks.com. There are a lot of little tips that are sprinkled throughout that those series of videos that you should find really helpful. But the most important thing for horizontal is to keep the yo-yo moving. If you slow down, it's, uh, it's no good. Slow mode on, please. I have no idea what that is. Uh, please feel free to educate me. Can I make a responsive freehand yo-yo into a freehand pro by swapping the bearing? Uh, there have been a lot of different versions of the freehand throughout time. Um, so I'm not sure about what one you had specifically. However, as far as I'm aware, the Freehand Pro, um, the SKU itself, comes with an unresponsive bearing. How has yo-yoing changed in the last 20 years? Uh, Yo-yo's been a lot longer. Uh, players are a lot better at doing tricks. Um, and very fortunately, I think that one of the best things that have happened in the yo-yo community recently is that people are starting to feel less um, ownership over their tricks which is a very good thing. It's, it's very good if as yo-yo players, we can say, hey, I did this really cool trick and you can learn it too and you can copy it and you can innovate off of it. This isn't my trick. It's not like you're not allowed to do it. And I really think that's been one of the uh, most beneficial turns in the yo-yo community, uh, at, least, at least as long as I've been in it. Can you do the boingy boing on the fizz yo-yo? Uh, yeah, you definitely can. Um, it's going to take a certain level of skill. It's definitely going to be more difficult to do boingy boing on a fizz than like a sage or uh, other conventional responsive or unresponsive yo-yo really. Um, so yeah. What is my favorite bimetal? That's a really good question. Uh, the first one that jumps out is probably the, no, no, that one's not. The bimetal shutter is probably my favorite bimetal that I've played with recently. I'll say that much. I'll, I'll say that much. Jake, to turn some on. Okay, uh, let's see. Someone really wants me to turn slow mo on, but I don't want to neglect Instagram either. I have a problem when trying to do repeating B sting. Sometimes the counter rate will stop going around while mounting the yo yo. Uh, okay, sounds like your issue is that you're not moving your hand enough in space. So you really want the energy of the counterweight to come from both the yo-yo pulling on the string and pulling the counterweight around. And you also want it to come from how you physically move your hand in space. Which yo-yo would you recommend after the Sage? Uh, I'd probably recommend the Arcade. It's, uh, what, $27.99 for the solid colors. And uh, it's really comfortable. It's a great first unresponsive yo-yo. 
Uh, other than that, if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, something like the Canon or anything else in the $45 to $55 range will suit you really well. What makes a yo-yo good for 5A? Uh, well, largely preference. Um, certain things that I enjoy in a 5A yo-yo are number one, a light feeling, because that helps you control the yo-yo a bit more, um, and especially control how the yo-yo is controlling the counterweight, because you have that extra step uh, that you gotta take care of. Uh, other than that, I like wide yo-yos. You know, I won the World Yo-Yo Contest with the Atlas, which was, um, you know, very wide for the time, and uh, that just helps a lot in le learning accuracy. It said in the last live stream, Adam said you were releasing a new new version of the Canon. What about that? So yes, uh, I wasn't sure if that was public. We are currently working on a new version of the Canon. Um, we're not sure how significant the changes are going to be to the design. We are certainly making some. Um, and we, we're hopefully getting the prototypes very soon, uh, within the next few weeks. And then, you know, a couple months for production and we'll see what happens. Uh, I would fully expect them to be available for the holiday season. Budget buy metal or good mono metal? Uh, I think whenever it comes to yo-yos, you're always going to meet with diminishing returns. So you can spend $40 on a yo-yo and get a yo-yo that will perform 90% as good as a yo-yo that you paid $1,000 for. Um, so really, as long as you're dealing with any kind of modern metal yo-yo, you're probably gonna be fine for whatever trick that you wanna throw it at, but you can, in fact, get better performance by spending more money. Uh, short string, great for beginners. Yes, that is very true. Uh, what's up, everyone on Instagram? Just got a lot of people joining. Oh, up to 70, 70, 77 people on YouTube right now. That's really cool. Is the V3 Magic Yo-Yo good for beginners? Uh, I'm not familiar with that model off the top of my head, so I can't comment. Why does HKMT equipment make so much hype? I don't know what that is. Is 5A hard? Uh, 5A is more difficult than 1A. Uh, I would say that the major hurdle for most players learning 5A is uh, the fact that 5A is physically painful, especially when you get hit by hard plastic counterweights. But uh, just wait, just wait. We got some cool things coming for people who are sick of hurting their knuckles with counterweights. Uh, hopefully I'll have more information to give you by the end of the month, but no promises, no promises. What's your favorite unresponsive plastic yo-yo? Uh, the replay. How many hours did you practice for Worlds? Uh, I practiced, you know, like four to six hours a day for a few years. Uh, that's just what it took to uh, compete at the world level. So Jake, what are your thoughts on the new Blade? Uh, I think the new Blade is a really interesting yo-yo. It's definitely part of the uh, kind of European design philosophy of yo-yos, um, which is to say that it's, it has a well-balanced weight distribution. And I really enjoy that part of it. Um, yeah, I, I think the new blade's great. Do you know if Yotrix has an arcade review? Uh, review videos are really more of Adam's territory. Sometimes I'm in them. Um, you should check our YouTube channel. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head. I love when 5A Yo-Yo decides to do somersaults when I go for 8360. Can you please explain what a B-grade Yo-Yo is? Yes, absolutely. So this is one of the B-grades that we started selling. This is a Canon. Uh, comes with one of these Yo-Yo Factory counterweights. Uh, historically, these were called spin top buttons, um, but now that the patent has expired, I don't know what Yo-Yo Factory is calling them, uh, so that's on them. So a B-grade Yo-Yo, fundamentally, you know, whenever you make a run of Yo-Yos, let's say you make 500 of them, you know, some percentage of those are gonna have a little bit more vibe than uh, you want. Some of them are gonna have anno issues that you don't really want. Um, so it's basically just the ones that weren't quite good. You know, they're B grades, they're not A grades. Do you know what the grind machine is? Uh, oh yeah, I remember looking at pictures of the grind machine on Yo-Yo Nation back in the day, because I really wanted to buy one. Um, then there was also the plastic grind machine. I learned a lot of 5A tricks on that one. Uh, good Yo-Yo. Hi, I really like Yo Tricks videos. Thanks, Mick Ninja, I appreciate it. When is a new ethos gonna come out? Man, ever, Brian and Adam have been spilling all the secrets on these live streams, haven't they? Uh, sorry, I just got distracted by a silly comment. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, the, the new ethos. Uh, so we got the first prototypes in. 
they were pretty underwhelming, honestly. We're still kind of debating how we feel about it. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that we're going to need at least two more prototype runs on it to get it to a place where we really feel like it's good. Um, so yeah, I don't know, end of the year, more than likely. Should you keep the shields on the, on the bearing after lubing and cleaning? Uh, putting the, putting the shields back on the bearing will make, uh, dust a little bit less likely to get back into the bearing, but honestly, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Uh, tips for Quijibo that hop to double or nothing is a big problem for me, please. Uh, that's not really something that I can deal with here on the live stream. Uh, you're more than welcome to post a comment or write us through our contact form on our website and we can give you some more tips with that. Should I get the Arcade? I just lost my Sage. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think the Arcade is an excellent yo-yo uh, and I think that you'll have a lot of fun if you pick one up. Uh, do players with signature yet? Uh, well, it's already gone. Are you going to participate in the World Yo-Yo Contest 2021? I'm really thinking about it. Uh, with all these new yo-yos that are coming out, I'm feeling really excited and kind of giddy about yo-yos again. Um, so I, I, yeah, I, I'd like to compete in 2021, but it's also a lot of work and we'll have to see how I feel about that uh, when I actually start going through that work. Uh, no, I don't know what's going on with the contest due to COVID. How did you learn your really advanced 5A combos? Did you figure things out yourself or did you have someone teach you? Uh, so I got a lot of help in the beginning when I was first working on uh, competing in 5A um, from someone named Connor Skolin. He used to work for yoyotricks.com. You may be familiar with him. He's done some of our tutorials. Uh, but eventually I got to the point where I felt like I could um, make my own tricks and make my own tricks that are uh, good enough to compete on the world yo-yo stage. Um, and basically I just did it through uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of creativity. That's, that's really the best way I can put it. B-grade Forge. Uh, Forge has been made for a long time. Um, we don't intend to make it again. If I don't know. Talk to some Yoku. I mean, I was planning on going to Budapest for, yeah. 2020 isn't going right. Well, I mean, you know, we're just humans. We don't have control over the way the world goes or what diseases enter the world. It's, uh, it's going the way it's going. Do you know when the Duncan Roadrunner will be back in stock? Uh, yes, Duncan is currently making more. We have our order in, we want them right away, and we are very much looking forward to getting more Roadrunner in stock as soon as possible. Uh, but I would estimate that it's at least a month away. Will it be possible to choose between the Ultraway and the one you are working on when buying a Canon or Atlas? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, I, I won't commit to yes or no right now, but that's definitely something that we'll think about. Uh, thoughts on Serenity. Uh, is that a yo-yo? Are you referring to the sci-fi show? I don't know what you're talking about, but you've, you sure asked many, many times. What happened to the pandemonium? Uh, as far as I'm aware, Duncan discontinued that yo-yo. Um, I think that they felt that it was a little bit too expensive for what it was, but um, for a more clear answer on that, you should talk to Duncan. Do you still play with the Rapid? Uh, every so often when I'm digging through my yo-yo case, I'll find one of my old Rapids, especially one of the prototypes that I'm very fond of, and I'll toss it around. It's, that was my first signature yo-yo. It was a lot of fun. I have a lot of appreciation uh, to King Yo Star and to uh, Jeremy Mr. Yo-Yo Thrower um, for helping me put that together. Uh, I've never played with the 2.6 Serenity yo-yo, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, I can't offer an opinion on it. What is your favorite string? Uh, so kind of historically, my favorite string was a uh, high-end string because I designed, I designed it myself and we sell it on yoyotricks.com. Uh, but recently, I've really, I've really taken a cage-free string. I love that I, I can just take one out of the bundle and it's a perfect length and it feels really good. I, I just can't get enough of cage-free string. I think it's really, really stellar. What is my favorite yo-yo of all time? Oh man, I have to say the Atlas, just, just because of all the good memories, but I'm biased. Is the Atlas good for 1A? Yes, in my opinion it is. Is the Magic Yo-Yo N12 Shark's Honor any good for a cheap yo-yo? Uh, that's definitely one of the Magic Yo-Yos that I hear more about than others, uh, and I know that a lot of people have been very happy with it, so um, I mean, it's probably not too much of a risk to order it. Will the Yotrix brand go into speed cubing? Uh, we, we briefly discussed getting into cubing um, a few years ago. Uh, nothing really ever came from those plans, but it's definitely not outside the realm of possibility. 
I'm a lefty and the string always untwists after some throws, any tips? Uh, managing string tension just kind of comes with the business. Um, it's a skill that you'll develop over time. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it, um, but you can check out some string tension adjustment techniques. I'm pretty sure we either just put out a video or we're working on a video for that exact purpose. So you should, uh, you should be pretty happy coming up pretty soon. Which team are you sponsored by right now? Uh, I, I work for yoyotricks.com full time. They're my sponsor, if you want to call them that. I just realized that Atlas is narrower than the flight and I can do double or nothing with the flight. Yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it. Any chance you'd ever give one of your rapids away? I have one and I love it and I want another one. Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna give away any of my rapids, sorry. What's your favorite bearing? The VIP bearing. It's, uh, you know, I had a hand in designing it and so I'm a little bit biased, but we, uh, we really started with Okay, what do we want out of a bearing? How can we make the best yo-yo bearing? What will the best yo-yo bearing look like? And then we designed the VIP bearing around it. Uh, I've been working on a video with Adam about the VIP bearing. I believe he mentioned it in his last live stream and that should be coming out pretty soon. And uh, I think that uh, you guys will really enjoy that video. And I think if you pick up a VIP bearing, you really enjoy playing with that too. What is the best yo-yo to buy from just starting? If you're just starting, like you have never thrown a yo-yo before, the last time you threw a yo-yo was 30 years ago, go with the Fizz. It's gonna be the easiest to use. Otherwise, I'd recommend the Sage Yo-Yo Starter Pack. What bearing comes with the Arcade? Uh, I believe on the last run, they came with um, dual stray bearings, but on the next run, they will come with our own VIP bearing. Uh, we are currently shipping arcades with VIP bearings installed. Is it true nowadays most yo-yos are machined in China? Uh, probably, yeah. It's probably very fair to say that the majority of yo-yos are machined in China. That is to say more than half. What's the most expensive yo-yo you've gotten to play with? Uh, probably the, oh, I forget what it's called. The uh, special edition, like uh, some luxury yo-yo that Hiroyuki Suzuki made. It was titanium and stainless steel, cost $1,000. I got to play with Mickey's uh, at 2016 Worlds, and that was pretty cool. Have you ever tried the Spark from Spin Dynamics? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm, I know that model, and yes, I have played with it. Uh, good yo-yo. I'm using the Sage, and I want to get into unresponsive yo-yo. Uh, any news from Solstice? Uh, they're, they're being made right now, and uh, I would expect to have at least some within a month. Is it 100% necessary to start learning 5A with a freehand pro, or can I start with a Canon? I already have a Canon. You can learn 5A on any yo-yo you want. I first started learning 5A on a Fast 201. I mean, the first trapeze that I ever performed, I had a counterweight in my hand. You can, you can learn 5A at the very, very beginning of your yo-yo career. You don't have to learn 1A to learn 5A. Um, so yeah, any yo-yo works for 5A. Can you show your Atlas collection? Do you have a bunch of the prototype ones? Uh, I only have a handful of the prototype ones. The one that I actually won Worlds with was a prototype one, uh, but I don't have it here. What do you think of a metal sage? Uh, you know, there, there are probably some metal yo-yos that are vaguely similar in shape to the sage. Uh, and, you know, I, I can't really think of one that I've tried off the top of my head, but I'm sure a metal sage would be fine. The B-grade cannon is a different shape. What do you think of it? Uh, yeah, so the B-grade cannon actually, let me show everyone a nice close-up. It has a little bit of a rounded profile as opposed to the straight profile that the current cannon has or the A-grade uh, cannon has. It's a little bit more comfortable to catch with the thumb, I find, especially when you're doing 5A. Um, they do play a little bit differently, but honestly, they're still great yo-yos and they're very inexpensive. Are you playing 4A? Uh, personally, I don't really play 4A. Um, there's a bit too much running around for me, but yeah, just my preference. What's the first yo-yo I ever got? Uh, I mean, I don't know. My parents were buying me yo-yos when I was like five years old, uh, but the one I remember the most and the one that was most impactful uh, to my yo-yo career was the Fast Tool one. I had a green one and I loved it. The Canon is a sophisticated sage, just think about it. It's a fair argument. Uh, I don't think that a metal sage would be subpar with the OG as it's supposed to be an entry level 1A throw. Well, potentially. Uh, favorite 5A trick? Uh, hmm. That's a really good question. I gotta say my shoot the moon combo. 
Uh, let's see if I can hit it here on live stream with a yo-yo that I'm not very familiar with. Oh, you guys can see me. So it's shoot the moon, switch hands, switch hands again, and then do shoot the moon. And then uh, with a little bit of practice, you can get it right to a magic knot. So yeah, that's my favorite five-day trick. Just got my first video yesterday, glad to hear it, Simon. Do you believe that one day one drop will release a bimetal yo-yo? I feel like they already have. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, I can't think of a specific model, uh, but hey, you know. Favorite routine, uh, that's easy. That's uh, Takeshi Matsura 2012 5A. I, that was my first world yo-yo contest ever, 2012. And when I saw Takeshi and Takuma and Hideo on stage, it just blew my mind. And that was the moment where I really decided like, okay, I want to be on stage too. I want to be uh, one of these people that other people think have cool yo-yo tricks. Uh, so yeah, definitely Takeshi Matsura 2012. Uh, maps, you can learn 5 a.m. whatever yo-yo you want. It doesn't matter. What routine was the hardest for you to make? Uh, I'm definitely in my 2015 world yo-yo routine. That's the one that I put the most work into overall. Do you think you will, you will compete for a 1A? Uh, almost certainly not. I've been to one drop and they have to get new machines to make a buy metal. Oh, well, yeah. Poly or nylon? Uh, polyester, you know, I've, like, I've been making my own yo-yo strings for over 10 years at this point, and I've experimented with a lot of different materials, and I just can't find a nylon string that I like. I think that it's too rough, uh, it doesn't break in, it's too stiff, too heavy. You know, I'm sure there are a lot of people who really like it, but it's a uh, nylon string, it's not for me. I started learning slightly more advanced tricks and I was, fine, was finally able to do Yuki Slack. That's awesome. I remember the first time that I learned how to do Yuki Slack. Uh, it's a really, really cool trick. Favorite styles from best to worst? Uh, okay, just off the top of my head without too much consideration. 5A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 1A. That's my, that's my order. Are you going to participate in 2021 Worlds? Uh, potentially, I was just talking about that. Not positive. We'll have to see how things unfold. What's the best lube to use on a first unresponsive yo-yo? Uh, if, if it's an unresponsive yo-yo, it's thin lube, always. If you have an unresponsive, um, to me this in there. Any tips for quantum slack? Uh, I'm not exactly sure which trick that is. Let me look it up real quick. Hopefully this doesn't like cancel my live stream or anything. Can everyone on YouTube still see me just fine? Okay, I'm smiling for a thumbnail, YouTube. What more do you want from me? Oops. Intense clicking of keys. Yeah, I, uh, I tried to open a YouTube video on my iPad, which is what I'm using the live stream to YouTube, and it it disconnected me. Uh, favorite player right now? Uh, Christopher Chun. I'm a beginner. How can I get accuracy on beginner string tricks like man on the flying trapeze? Uh, keep the yo-yo closer to your hand. Uh, wow, YouTube really doesn't want to reconnect. This is I'm live. Hey, if anyone on YouTube can hear me, can you please write a message in the chat? What's the strangest show you use for 5A? Uh, I don't know, probably an off-string yo-yo. <laughs> Any updates on code word Pelican? Uh, production is still chugging along. You know, we've had some hitches, but uh, we've overcome them or we're working to overcome them and hopefully we'll we will have uh, some very exciting news about the code word pelican uh, in about a month or so uh, okay I don't think I'm live on YouTube still it's a real bummer It's frozen. Is uh is Instagram frozen or is uh, YouTube frozen? 
maybe this is gonna work now. Oh, okay, I'm live. Okay, very sorry everyone. We had some technical issues with the YouTube live stream. It looks like I'm back now. If you can hear me, please type something in the chat. I'd appreciate it. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I was, uh, I had to look up a YouTube video for a question and it messed with the app and it's, yeah, it's a whole thing. Please show some new 5A tricks. Uh, sure, yeah, let me show you guys a front style combo that I've been working on. Now, this isn't my usual setup, so uh, please forgive any mistakes that I make, but give me your impression. Here, let, me, let me adjust this down a little bit. Just a couple mistakes, but that's uh, that's kind of the fresh 5A combo that I've been working on. Oh, it's still frozen. Uh oh. Uh, well, that is concerning. I let's see. Those are filters. I've never YouTube live streamed before, but you, I'll, I'll do it again for all you people on YouTube. Don't you worry. Uh, I think I'm going to close the YouTube app. And then I'll be right back and I'll try to sort out the issue. Uh, so if I disconnect again, I apologize. Okay, is YouTube still frozen? This isn't live. Okay, okay, it looks like you guys can hear me. Uh, that is awesome. Okay, let me show you that. Uh, 5A front style combo again. Good fix, not frozen, awesome, glad to hear it. All right, hopefully the sound will make fewer mistakes. Oh, just made a mistake at the very last element. But yeah, that's, that's the 5A front style trick. Hope that you guys like it. Anyone else have any other questions? Short your string. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than I would usually prefer it, but it, it's about right. Hey Jacob, what age did you first pick up a yo-yo? Uh, I've been playing with yo-yos really for as long as I can remember. Like a lot of my earliest childhood memories are like performing yo-yo tricks. Uh, but I really started to get into it seriously uh, when I was in the seventh grade. So I'd be what, 12? So that was 13 years ago, almost 14. I'm a big fan of the Fizz Yo-Yo. Has the translucent blue color been stocked, restocked yet? Uh, yeah, it, it should be back in stock. Um, or if it's not in stock, I'll fix that as soon as the live stream is over. We've just been getting um, kind of an erratic shipment in for the past few days. Was it true you were planning to compete in 2020 Worlds? Uh, I had some semblance of a plan. I didn't have a firmly set plan. Uh, you know, that ended up not happening due to circumstances outside of my control, but you know, I'll reevaluate for 2021. What is your favorite counterweight? Uh, it's counterweight that I'm working on right now. Some exciting things to come. I'm sure that you guys will like it. Okay, hear me out, carbon fiber string. Uh, I'm tempted to say that carbon fiber string wouldn't work very well. Uh, carbon has a tendency to rub and discolor things um, and like leave residue, at least as far as I'm aware. Um, so I'm not sure how well carbon fiber string would work practically. Uh, so it looks like comments have slowed down a little bit. So I wanna show you guys a couple of new products that we have. Uh, so the first one is this Banana Yellow uh, Loop 720 by Yo-Yo Factory. And this is probably my favorite color to ever come out. It looks super good in real life. It's super bright. It's perfect yellow. Not, not everyone gets yellow yo-yos right, but this yo-yo, this is the right yellow. And uh, it's got black text on the caps. Uh, this one will be probably up later tonight, early tomorrow. And then we also have the new Edge Beyond color. So this one's pink with blue rims. 
Uh, looks really good in my opinion. This one releases tomorrow, so I can't release it today, even if I wanted to. Uh, but yeah, this one, both of those will be coming out, hopefully tomorrow. Have you learned the throw the baby trick? I'm not familiar with that. Bumblebee yo-yo? Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's the perfect, like, bee color. It's awesome. What was first unresponsive plastic yo-yos? Uh, I don't understand what you're asking. Does yo-yo can help you get a girlfriend or should I try something else? Uh, I think that uh, confidence and uh, being true to yourself will help you get a girlfriend probably much more effectively than yo-yo could. Uh, how many times did you take to be a professional 5A player? Uh, you know, it took me a few years of practice. I really wanted to catch up fast, so I worked especially hard for it. Um, but, you know, it's just, how long does it take you to get good? That, that's what you have to be concerned about. Is the ethos ever going to come back in stock? Uh, probably not in its uh, former form, but it, uh, we, will, we are currently working on some new ethos designs. We just got some prototypes in last week. Um, we're working on it, but um, I think that we have a lot more work to do on the prototypes. So hopefully by the end of the year for the holiday season, we'll have some really cool ethos related stuff available for you. What about a bimetal sage? Uh, that, uh, that sounds like a project for a few years out in the future. Uh, is the velocity yo-yo good? Uh, the, the velocity's primary strength is its versatility. Uh, it's, it's not going to perform as well either in its unresponsive or responsive mode as a purely unresponsive or responsive yo-yo would, um, but you can really easily change between the two and that's its strength. Have you played with prototype hybrid ethos? Uh, yes, I have. I have one at my apartment. I don't have one here with me. Uh, right now, I am at uh, the dance studio. Can you repeat your answer on the best lube to use? Uh, yeah, if you're using an unresponsive yo-yo, you want thin lube. If you're using a responsive yo-yo, you want thick lube. Um, and for the finer details on how to use lube, I would recommend that you check out our Thin loop video and our thick loop video. You should find those very beneficial. Uh-oh, uh is YouTube frozen again? Maria just told me that YouTube is frozen again. Kitty string or trick shot string? Uh, kitty string is probably going to play better than trick shot string. Trick shot string is really cool because you can make... Uh, okay, I'm glad to hear that YouTube is good. Thank you. Uh, trick shot string is really cool because you can make strings as long as you want, up to one 100-foot string. Uh, and so you can, uh, yeah, it's, trick shot string is a novelty based on length. Kitty string is the higher performing string overall. What is high-end string made out of? Uh, it is made out of uh, two different types of polyester. Uh, I believe one is bonded polyester and the other is uh, spun polyester. What is your current everyday throw? Uh, I don't really have one. It varies. It's kind of just like whatever is on my it in the front of my desk that day. Uh, but currently, it has been the uh, code name Pelican or the Solstice. Have you tested out the Omega Power Brain XP model? Uh, I'm not familiar with that model, and I haven't tried it. Uh, have you played with Sochi strings? Nope. Uh, I know they're made by my former King Yo Star teammate, Lucky Lee, um, but I have not played with one and I cannot offer my opinion. When are you going to restock shutters? Uh, hopefully as soon as possible. I really, we've been out of shutter for at least a few weeks now and Yo-Yo Factory is out and I really want them to make more. Um, I don't know, hopefully within a month. That's, I don't know, we really want more. I know that you guys want more. Uh, we're doing everything we can to make them available to you, but they're, they're just not there. Best 50-ish dollar yo-yo? Uh, well, I mean, which yo-yo is best really comes down to preference. Um, personally, the shutter wide angle is probably my favorite in that price range that's currently available. That one's 55 or 60, but in my opinion, that's, that's probably the best. Have you seen the Horizon 2 prototype? Uh, I've seen a handful of Horizon prototypes. I'm not sure which one yo-yo factory is calling the Horizon 2, if you're referring to the one with the extra cutout in the finger spin area, I've seen that one, haven't played with one. Uh, looks, looks really cool though. I'm excited for where Yo-Yo Factory is going to take that model. 
How long does it take to ship to Canada? Uh, typically, it takes seven to 10 days shipping to Canada. Uh, we mail all of our Canadian packages from Michigan. Uh, unfortunately, due to, pan due to the pandemic, um, a lot of international packages have been delayed. Um, usually about an additional one to three weeks delay, honestly. Some of them are getting there in the same amount of time that they would have. Otherwise, things are kind of just up in the air, honestly. How often are you guys going to try to do the live streams? Well, I mean, this is the first live stream I've ever done, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, so uh, we've talked about doing like one every two days, um, but that's just kind of the tentative plan right now. Um, we're not exactly sure. What is your daily job like at Yotrix? Uh, I handle all of the store-related things, so if you've ever ordered from us, uh, chances are I was the one who packed your package. Uh, I was the one who, you know, replies to your customer service emails and all that kind of things. So yeah, that's more or less my daily job. I manage everything store related. Hajime tutorials would be epic. I totally agree. I would love to have Hajime out here. If you have his phone number, tell him to call me. I don't know. It's, yeah, we want, we want to work with Hajime. When did you originally find inspiration for making your first 5A combos? When did you move past basic elements and starting advancing? Um, honestly, I was always kind of making my own 5A tricks. Um, you know, I like to look at um, coming up with new tricks as uh, thinking about possibilities and what possibilities are um, present while you're, do it, while you're in a particular formation. Uh, and that's something I've always enjoyed doing and I found came naturally to me. How long does delivery take to Slovakia? Uh, international shipping typically takes between uh, 10 to 14 business days, especially to European countries. But with the pandemic, uh, it's likely to take an additional few weeks. Uh, have you met Gentry Stein? Yeah, Gentry and I, you know, we're friends. We, we've hung out in the past. We've gone lunch and dinner together. He's a good guy. Would yo-yo replay yo-yo for unresponsive yo-yoing? Uh, if you like finger spins, go with the wedge. Otherwise, I'd probably recommend the replay. Are you sitting on the floor? Uh, nope, I'm sitting in the chair right now. Uh, I got my iPad on a table right here, and I got my iPhone right next to it on Instagram. Did you create dice grinds? Uh, I think that it was first done by someone other than me. Um, I'm not sure how popular they became from that other person doing it, um, but I, I discovered Dice Grinds by myself, but that isn't to say that I was the first one to discover it. Lunch and dinner, oh no, I have had breakfast with Gentry Sign. that is true. We had our world champion oatmeal. Uh, Chris, you may remember that particular instance. What yo did y'all test at yo tricks that y'all didn't really like and didn't put on the site? but that everyone else seemed to like and were after. I'm not sure what you're talking about. What is your favorite bind? Uh, I like, let me show you my favorite bind. This is my favorite bind right now. Just under mouth, that bind. It works super well, I'm super tight, very reliable, even on low spins, it's a good trick. I just wanted the record to be set straight. I do remember the oatmeal. Thank you, Chris, for your uh, short memory. When you bind, how do you make it snap so loud? Uh, new pads, thick string, smaller gap. Uh, the Canon has a, a smaller gap than most you use to help with tight binds. Um, yeah, that's really the most effective ways to do it. What is the yo-yo you are best with? Uh, probably the Atlas overall, because it makes my tricks easier to do. They're going to be C3 yo-yo sell in yo tricks. Uh, we're certainly not opposed to selling C3 yo-yos. It's just not really an opportunity that we've seized. Um, I mean, if they have any cool models, let us know about them, and we'll we'll look into them. Is yoyotricks.com going to do some tutorials for the magic stuff you sell? Uh, we've actually already filmed uh, tutorials for all three magic little kits that we sell on our website. I'm not sure if those are on our YouTube channel, but they are definitely on the product pages for those products. And you should watch them. Uh, Brian Duncan does a really great job at presenting the tricks and how to do them and giving you a lot of good tips to make them as believable as possible. So I'd really recommend that you watch those videos. You are the man. Thank you, Kwame. 
Is the Edge going to be back in stock soon? Uh, it's in stock in our U.S. warehouse. It's not currently in stock in our international warehouse, as far as I'm aware. Uh, but we are currently preparing a shipment to our international warehouse, and I can include some Edge in there for you. That, that's no problem at all. Is there a trick called rotation? Probably, but I'm not familiar with it. Have you ever tried a yo-yo which is so stable that it's uncomfortable to play with? Uh, no. Uh, stable yo-yos tend to be comfortable yo-yos for me. Will you ever teach more advanced 5A tricks on the channel? Uh, I already have some pretty advanced 5A tricks on there. Uh, I mean, I could teach like world champion level tricks, but there'd be like four people alive who could do them. And it's, uh, and you know, a lot of the tricks that I do, especially like on the world yo-yo stage, they're really, really, really hard. And unless you have, uh, you know, a lot of skill, chances are you're not gonna be able to learn them. Uh, no offense to anyone, but you know, this is just my experience uh, teaching other people how to yo-yo. Uh, thoughts on the yo-yo jam quest? Uh, not as good as the destiny. Uh, I have to get this off my chest, but Jake is the best. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you, Jake, for coming on today. It's been my pleasure. I've been having a ton of fun. Uh, I, I can probably justify being here for a little bit while longer. So if, if you have any more questions, let me know. Have you all tried any new yo-yo designs yet? Yes, we have tried many. Uh, thanks, Maria. Do you know besides, uh, sorry, your comments are already gone. Is cage-free string better? Uh, better than what? What is the counterweight on your Golden Cannon? This is one of the Yo-Yo Factory ball counterweights. Uh, like I was saying before, historically, these were called um, spin top buttons, but I'm sure that they have, they are working on a new name. Uh, I am just not familiar with that name yet. We will be selling, as far as I'm aware, we have plans to sell our own custom colors of these. Which state is Yotrix HQ? Michigan. Good state. It's a titanium shutter wide angle going to be back in stock. Uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, titanium shutter wide angle was never made, just a titanium shutter. Um, and you will have to talk to Yoyo Factory about any kind of plans for if they hope to make more. Uh, how can I get a yo-yo in India? So unfortunately, due to the pandemic, um, all of our shipping partners have canceled service to India, uh, which we recognize is very inconvenient, both for our Indian customers and for us who wants to get yo-yos to our Indian customers. But um, unfortunately, it's just international shipping is um, so chaotic these days, we just can't offer it. Same goes for the UAE, uh, which someone else just mentioned. Are counterweights heavier than the yo-yo? Uh, no, typically uh, counterweights are one sixth to one seventh of the weight of the yo-yo. That's kind of the sweet spot. Um, personally, I prefer them a little bit heavier, so at one sixth instead of one uh, seventh. Is cage-free string better than kitty string? Uh, well, that depends on uh, what things you find pleasant. Um, I recommend that you try both and see which one you prefer. How big is the Yotrix team? Uh, we are primarily three people. That's uh, Adam, the owner of the company. He manages most of the video stuff. Then we have Brian, he manages most of the website stuff. And then there's me and I manage all the store stuff. NYC should have an actual yo-yo store. Chances are there's someone in the state who's, or there's someone in the city who sells yo-yos. You should look for things like kite stores or toy stores. Usually someone will have a good selection of yo-yos. Which yo-yo is best for beginners? Uh, if you're just starting out, I'd recommend the Fizz. If you know how to throw a yo-yo, I'd recommend the Sage Yo-Yo Starter Pack. Uh, thanks, Arzni. Arseni, I'm sorry. Uh, can you make up a random trick on stream any style? Uh, I can probably try, but it won't be very good. Uh, bye, Jake. I always support you. See you, man. When will be restock of five styles pack for Russia? Uh, so the five styles pack is uh, something that we would like to make available for our international customers but due to the size and the complexity of the pack and how many different options you can select, like, you know, you have the, the color for like eight different yo-yos and then the string, and then, you know, it's shirt sizes and everything like that. It's, it's currently, it is impractical for us to offer it to our international customers. Um, but if you really, really, really want one, you can write us through the contact form on our website 
and uh, we might be able to arrange something for you. Uh, yes, Yotrix is in Michigan. Best 50 ish style yo yo. I'd recommend a shutter wide angle. Uh, what do you do besides yo yoing? I mean, how do you get money and stuff? Uh, I work for yo yo tricks full time. That's how I get money. Do you ship to Russia? Uh, we historically we have shipped to Russia. Uh, presently, uh, with all of the international complications that the pandemic is offering to us, um, I am not sure off the top of my head if we are still shipping to Russia. What is the best foray yo-yo? Um, I really like the Airwave. That's the one I would pick up. Um, other than that, I don't know enough about foray. I'm not good enough at foray to offer opinions on foray yo-yos. Uh, yes, we are still shipping to Norway. What do you think about premium Japanese yo-yos like Yo-Yo Recreation and Turning Point? Uh, I really like them. Uh, you know, those were very interesting to me when I first started yo-yoing because they were the expensive cool yo-yos. Um, and I think they're good. It's, uh, yeah, they're great. I'm going for the Fizz. Awesome, glad to hear it. Uh, no, you can't join the team unless you work for us. Will you ever do a weekly yo-yo update season two? Uh, I think that's highly unlikely. You know, I'm not the one who makes the video decisions for the company, Adam is. Um, but my impression that his opinion is that those videos did not do as well as he would have expected. Jake, you should do what Gentry is doing where he sells private lesson. I mean, how many people are interested in private lessons? I'm not opposed to giving them. Uh, I just, I'm not sure if the demand is there. What do you guys think? Would you guys be interested in private lessons? Would you pay $50 for one hour of my time? <laughs> it just seems a little bit silly to me. Be Great Atlas is a great seller in grinds. Uh, finger grinds, yes. Um, other grind, it is especially good for finger grinds. Uh, it is uh, competent at other types of grinds. Okay, well, there, there's at least three people who are interested. That's good to hear. What's your thoughts on Hajime Miura? Uh, he's super cool, and uh, I hope I can be more like him someday. Are most yoyers able to do more than one style? Uh, I would say that almost everyone who can compete at the uh, national or world level is capable of doing more than one style competently. Uh, I am, um, but you don't have to be. Oh my God, love you, Jake. Thanks, DJ, appreciate it. Is there a kite store in the NYC? Uh, I don't know, I don't live in NYC. Check Google. What's the fastest way to bind an unres uh, dead, unresponsive yo-yo? Uh, you can get away pretty quick. So my preferred method for starting a stop yo-yo is just to do the Vulcan salute, put the yo-yo in, pull, and that'll give you a strong enough spin to be able to do a bind. How does the Ayoyo Barbarian feel? Uh, it feels really solid. It's made of a 7075 aluminum, which is a little bit heavier and denser than uh, your typical 6061 yo-yo. Uh, so it feels really solid and it's great. Are you doing Kendama? Uh, personally, no. Can you teach us the Asian pop variation that you do in the two sides of your hand? Uh, is this the trick that you're talking about? Are you thoughts on the yo-yo or mere kin? Uh, is that the, is that the little girl who was at the World Yo-Yo Contest last year? If so, she's awesome. Is the Solstice a good yo-yo? Yes, it's one of the best I've ever played with. We can't see the tricks. Oh, I'm very sorry, Instagram. I it was not my intention to neglect you. Uh, this was the trick that I showed. Just a way to quick start a yo-yo. How many styles can you do? I can uh, do at least the basics in all the styles. Um, it's crazy that it's only three of you who run everything. You should be super proud. Uh, thanks. Yeah, we, we do put a lot of hard work in, uh, especially things that have been busy during the pandemic time and I've been putting in a lot of overtime. Uh, so glad to hear that. I'm very glad to hear that you appreciate all the work that we do. What do you think on Dylan Kowalski? Well, he's one of our fellow uh, yo-yo YouTubers, so in that, uh, I respect him a lot for that. Uh, and I've met him in real life, and he seems like a very nice guy. 
Uh, but, you know, I haven't spent a lot of time on it, and I can't offer a very nuanced opinion. Hey, Kevin. Glad you liked the tutorials. Uh, we will definitely be keeping up the good work. Uh, we have a lot of exciting stuff coming out, uh, hopefully within the next couple months. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. That was a trick I was talking about. I'd appreciate if you could do a tutorial on that. Uh, okay, we'll definitely add that one to our list. Uh, Adam's been mentioning that he would like me to teach that trick as well. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to end up being like a short tutorial that maybe we post on Instagram or if it'll be a full form tutorial that we post on YouTube. Uh, but we'll definitely keep it in mind. That's a great trick. How did you choose a song for the World Yo-Yo Contest? So for there, there's a bit of a, a legend about the uh, the song that I used for the for the year that I won Worlds 2015. So I filmed all of my tricks and put them together and had a three minute routine all fully planned out, but I had no music. And so I went to Kai Zizen, who is a well known yo-yo player, and I said, "Hey man, I need a song." And he said, "Well, there's this one that I've been thinking about using." Let's play it over your freestyle video that you made and see how it matches up. And it matched it up perfectly. Like we literally only had to do a couple incredibly minor edits. And uh, you know, at least in my opinion, uh, it, the music matched, matched up very well with the tricks and it was, it was kind of a miracle. I, uh, I took it as a wonderful coincidence. Today we had a titanium bimetal yo-yo on the market. Is it possible to make something more premium and stable than that? Uh, I mean, I'm no material scientist. There are probably some better materials that, that you can use, but I would imagine that a uh, titanium and stainless steel yo-yo um, is kind of pushing the boundaries. Will you be selling playing cards in the magic section? Uh, not as far as I'm aware. This story, well, Chris, I hope that it was a good story. Don't get me sass. Do you throw nine dragons? Uh, I, I have thrown nine dragons in the past. I haven't done any like innovative content with it. Uh, but it's a, it's a really fun yo-yo. We just got some more in stock. I'm gonna be putting them in stock later tonight, early tomorrow. Um, no new colors, just the old ones, what? Black, red, aqua, just those three, I think. Um, but those will be up today or tomorrow. When do you think the next live stream will be? Uh, likely in a, just a couple days. Uh, I will probably be live streaming next Thursday, but I'm not exactly sure. Wasn't the song called Swamp Thing? Uh, that was my 2016 song. Uh, my 2015 song was Mind Off by Hazer, I think. I don't know. It's five years ago. Uh, would love to see 9B tutorials. I have no idea what that is. Any giveaways planned? Uh, not presently. Loving the live streams. Glad to hear it. Are you shipping to Poland? Yes, we are shipping to Poland. Uh, we are not shipping to the UAE. Can you do an independent tangler combo? Uh, I don't really have any good ones. Independent tanglers are kind of, uh, well, they're not as cool as dependent tanglers. Uh, if I get a message that my yo-yo ship can be canceled to go to Russia, if your yo-yo is shipped, it can't be canceled. Nine dragons, that's what nine being meant. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, we were thinking about working with, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, a certain yo-yo factory player for uh, Nine Dragons tutorials, um, but those kind of fell through recent. Those kind of fell oh, live video ended. Okay, hold on, YouTube folks. Let me let me go back on Instagram. Okay, we'll have to see. What is your feedback about Yo-Yo Factory Replay Pro? He is good for advanced tricks and freestyle. Yes, the Replay Pro is good. You're still live. Yep, still live on YouTube. Okay, I got three people on Instagram. Uh, hello, sorry everyone on Instagram. I guess I was streaming for over an hour and uh, they kicked me off. Uh, so I'm back now and it's good to see. Oh, what's up, Alp? Yes, you are in fact first, congratulations. Do you prefer plastic or steel yo-yos? I like plastic and steel yo-yos. That is polycarbonate yo-yos with stainless steel rims. Uh, those are really, really good. I enjoy them. They're great. Uh, what happened? Uh, sorry, I'm quiet. Uh, I guess I was live streaming for too long and they kicked me off. 
so I'm back now. Will you ever do a second season of the weekly yo-yo update? Uh, no. Uh, I think it's unlikely at this time, rather, I did give a more detailed response earlier in the live stream. If you want to hear it again, I'd be happy to do that. Should I get the Marco or the Barbarian? Uh, that's a really good question. If you never, I would say that the Marco is a more extreme design, whereas the uh, Barbarian is a little bit more toned down and more of like what you might expect from a yo-yo. Um, so if, if you're a risk taker, go with the Marco. Uh, which is not to say, of course, that the Marco isn't an excellent yo-yo, because it is an excellent yo-yo. Will you guys ever go back and refilm the older videos for teaching tricks? Uh, yeah, we're always talking about going back and refilming old tutorials. Uh, mostly, we tend to focus on popular beginner tricks or popular intermediate tricks. Um, some examples that come to mind are, are uh, boingy boing, um, pop and fresh, things like that. Um, so yeah, we, we, all, we are always talking about refilming tutorials. If there's one in particular that you want to see refilmed, uh, just let us know. I like how, how long should the string be if you're playing 1A? Uh, it should be approximately up to your belly button with the yo-yo on the floor. That's kind of the standard rule of thumb, but if uh, you can always go shorter or longer depending on your preference. Jager, you still doing 5A? Oh yeah, still doing 5A. Don't you guys worry. Why haven't we seen you on Yo Tricks recently? Uh, well, you know, the filming studio is in Adam's house. And with the uh, strict lockdown measures that Michigan is putting in place, uh, I haven't been able to legally do that. Um, so we've just been staying separate for a couple of months. I've been working on my work. He's been working on his work. Um, but hopefully I will be in more tutorials uh, when this whole pandemic is all over. Is the boomerang harder to learn than boingy boing? Uh, almost certainly not. You'd probably have a lot more trouble with boingy boing than boomerang. Thanks for giving us the content, Jake. You are very welcome, Keegan. You're in Michigan too, yes. Uh, what Are the bimetals overrated? Is there a big difference? Uh, I would say the bimetal yo-yos are not overrated in the sense that they do offer real performance benefits. Now, if you are an intermediate player, will buying a bimetal make you as good as a world champion? No, certainly not. But your yo-yo will spin 10% longer and it'll be 25% more stable and those things will uh, definitely benefit your play. Will you do any tricks in this live stream? Uh, I've already done a handful of tricks. Uh, I've been going for over an hour now. If there's something in particular that you really want to see, I'd be happy to do it for you. Um, and that, that goes for anyone. How would you guys feel about making more videos like how binds work? No tutorials with things like history about the yo-yo and stuff would be very interesting in my opinion. Yeah, so uh, we're actually working on a couple videos in that regard. So we have the VIP bearing video coming out in a week or two uh, that we've been working very hard on. That's going to go over all of like the science of bearings and how they work and why you would want a particular shape on your bearing. So that was going to be a lot of fun. And then I'm also intending on making a counterweight science video where I go over um, all the different aspects of counterweight design and how much they should weigh and what shape they should be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, trying to pass on some of my wisdom as a professional 5A player. So yeah, we have two videos coming up like that. For a future live stream, are you guys going to have any guests? Uh, we'll put the guests on if uh, they're around. Um, you know, they aren't always, you know, they all have their own lives and sometimes we just fly them out to Michigan to film tutorials with us. Uh, but especially with the pandemic going on, I would anticipate that we will not have a guest on our live stream for some time. Uh, awesome. Glad to hear you find that exciting, Cubic. All right, let's see. Those are both pretty long answers. Favorite 1A trick you film? Supercharger. I love Supercharger. That's kind of my go-to. I'm just picking up a yo-yo and I'm going to have to try to do it. Um, yeah, Supercharger is my favorite 1A trick. What's the worst yo-yo yet? Uh, the worst yo-yo I've ever played with was a yo-yo, was the uh, yo-yo that they gave away at 2012 Worlds. Uh, they tried to do a uh, very unique design where the yo-yo had a metal shell and then um, big plastic bearings in the middle. And it, uh, it did not work. 
uh, very effectively at all? Uh, well, you guys got to watch the video and uh, start learning Supercharger. That's the only thing holding you back from not being able to do Supercharger is you you putting in the effort. You got to put in the effort and you'll get it. What do you think about Magic Yo-Yos? Uh, I mean, I Magic Yo-Yos are, are fine. They, they serve a certain... Uh, they serve a certain section of the market, and uh, yeah, magic areas are fine. I don't, I don't have anything bad to say about them. Can you make a video on what yo-yo weight distribution? So yo-yo weight distribution is a pretty complicated subject, and I wouldn't want to put out a video unless I knew that the things that I had to say were definitely true. Um, so I would say at this time it's unlikely that we do one uh, unless we really, really figure out how weight distribution works properly. Uh, tips on serpentine trick. Uh, all of the tips that I had to offer were in the video. Um, yeah, without any more specific questions, I can't really give you a better answer. Is Canon as good for 1A as it is for 5A? Uh, mm, I prefer for 5A more than I do for 1A, but it is certainly a competent 1A area. Should I get a shutter or shutter wide angle? Uh, I prefer the shutter wide angle. Uh, just because it's wider and I like wide yo-yos. It's also a little bit more expensive. Um, try both. Can it finger spin? Uh, what yo-yo in particular? What is a good yo-yo for all play styles? Uh, I'd recommend the Canon. So really 1A, 3A, and 5A have similar design uh, goals and 2A and 4A have different design goals. Um, so if you want a yo-yo that's good for 1A, 3A, 5A, I recommend the Canon. Um, there is no yo-yo that can do all five styles effectively. Can you guys give us more info on how you guys are going to help people start clubs? Uh, I can't give you more information on that right now. That's not really up my alley. Ask Adam or Brian about it. Have you tried a fully ceramic bearing? No, I haven't, but I really want to. Uh, so if anyone has any good recommendations for where I can get my hands on 100% ceramic bearing, let me know. I'm having trouble getting the yo-yo back to weave under your hand and back into a trapeze. Uh, I'd recommend keeping uh, the string shorter. Try it with a shorter string. That will probably help you uh, refine the movement. Do you, do you use yo-yo expert? No, I do not order off of yo-yo expert, uh, though I have in the past before I started working for yoyotricks.com. Do you play 4A? Uh, 4A is my least favorite style. I can do it. I can do like the basics. I can do like regions and stuff, but I don't really like 4A. Have I tried the Skyline? Uh, I have tried the Skyline, um, but I don't, I don't really have an opinion on it. I didn't play with it enough. Uh, the Canon is not uh, good for finger spins. You can do finger spins, but you're not going to get like the really long, cool ones that you would on a, on a yo-yo specifically designed for finger spins. Hey Jake is the, hey, oh no, I'm sorry. Hey Jack, is the Mighty Flight Power Pack still available? Uh, I'm not sure if it is. I think that uh, we took that out of stock, uh, but we still have the three Illuminator weight rings that you can get with it if you want any of those. Hey, what's going on over on Instagram right now? We got any questions on Instagram? Just 11 viewers, four to seven here on, yo on YouTube. Uh, I have only one yo-yo and it's broken. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Please stop spamming the chat. I would appreciate that. And I'm sure the other viewers would as well. Um, you should probably write us through the contact form on our website. Well, yeah, you know what? If Chris wants to say something about 4A, he can say it himself in the chat. Are you ever going to make cases? Uh, yes, we hope to. Uh, we've been working on finding a case supplier for some time. It's not a major uh, project right now, but I'm sure we'll get to it eventually. Mighty Flea as counterweight uh, is theoretically possible, but you're gonna have some real sore knuckles. Uh oh, Jake Carey Factory's lab, I'm trying to take us away. Don't worry, we're here until the end. Thanks, Michael, I appreciate it. Uh, please feel free to go into the Yo-Yo Factory uh, live stream and sabotage them and send people over here. Uh, just kidding, of course, only, only do this things in goodwill to your factory. How long do response pads last? Uh, response pads, uh, there's really no good set length of time. Um, I don't know, months, 
six months, a year. It really depends on how much you use the ERO. You shouldn't have to replace response beds very often. Is the shutter or the edge better? Uh, well, it depends on if you ask Gentry Stein or Evan Nagao. Um, they're both very good yo-yos. Uh, the shutter is monometal and the edge is bimetal. Um, you should play with both and form your own opinion. Is the Canon a responsive yo-yo? No, the Canon is uh, an unresponsive yo-yo only. You cannot install a slim responsive bearing in the Canon. Can your company resend tracking numbers? Uh, Arseni, it sounds like you should contact us through our contact form on our website and not be asking questions in the live stream. The contact form would be a much more appropriate place for us to deal with that kind of issue. Thanks, awesome. Uh, is the bimetal shutter worth the price? Uh, if you are a fan of the, uh, Ben, I, I have personally tested cannons with the slim bearing. At least the more recent ones don't accept them. Um, as far as I'm aware, just, just so everyone's clear. Uh, one drop pads are immortal. They are. One drop makes very good pads. Uh, well, they're not truly immortal, right? Everything wears out eventually. Do you have a favorite female thrower? What impresses you about her? Or what impresses, that's a weird question. Uh, my favorite female yo-yo currently is, uh, I forget her name off the top of my head. I want to say Miri. She was like the seven or eight or nine year old girl who did an amazing job at the World Yo-Yo Contest last year. Uh, that was the real highlight of my World Yo-Yo Contest, was getting to see her yo-yoing. If you're going to work for or be sponsored by a different company, what would it be? Uh, that's probably not a good thing to comment on uh, the yoyotricks.com live stream. Uh, I don't know who's watching. Uh, do you have any suggestions on how to get more comfortable yo-yoing in public? Uh, well, I mean, you know, everyone's opinion, you know, other people's opinion about you is their problem. Just yo-yo and have fun and, uh, you know, people will start enjoying it. You know, I know that when I started yo-yoing in public, when I first got started, um, I was, you know, really embarrassed to yo-yo in public and I was afraid of other people's comments. But as I got better, people started to enjoy uh, watching me yo-yo more. And now, you know, like, people love it when I yo-yo for them. There are going to be more colors for the Canon. Yes, absolutely, eventually. Uh, $120 for the, the bimetal shutter is too much. You're using this price range. You have titanium axle, 7075 aluminum. What do you think about that, Jake? Uh, so the other comparable bimetal in that price range is the Edge Beyond. Uh, new color available tomorrow, pink blue rings. Uh, that one actually costs $150 originally, but they took out the custom bearing and the custom titanium axle. So now this one is $120. Um, and I would say that at least with the current market rate, $120 is appropriate for a very high quality bimetal yo-yo. Um, like especially with the Edge Beyond, it's, uh, they really pushed yo-yo design to the limit with this yo-yo. And it's really cool, you know. I have uh, I personally tried to redraw this yo-yo and it's, uh, it's really impressive what they did. So I think that the $120 price point is very fair. Which bearing is good for 5A? Uh, for 5A, you absolutely want a string centering bearing. I would recommend the VIP bearing. Can you post more intermediate to advanced 5A tricks? Uh, uh, sorry, DJ, I don't really know how to mute spammers. That is something I will look into for the next live stream that I uh, put up. But for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Apologies. Uh, how long does a replay yo-yo spin? Uh, well, that highly depends on your skill level. Um, I would feel very confident at my skill level doing at least one minute worth of tricks on a single throw. Uh, yep, or is me, no problem. Just write us through the contact form. I'll be happy to get you sorted out. What bearing comes with the arcade? Originally, they came with dual straight bearings, but now they come with VIP bearings. So if you order an arcade today, you will receive a VIP bearing. Uh, have you heard of the Omega Maverick? Yes, I have. I don't have a, a, an opinion either way on it. Uh, hey Jake, what are some of your old favorite Yo-Yo Factory Yo-Yos? The best old Yo-Yo Factory Yo-Yo is a small bearing lunatic. Uh, Yo-Yo Factory needs to make more of that because it is very, very good. If I order premium shipping, how long after I order will the Yo-Yo arrive? Uh, so for priority mail shipping, 
got, got a, for priority mail shipping, it's typically two to three days, but with the pandemic, uh, there are many shipping delays. Um, so you, you should expect at most a, a, a week delay past three to five days. My brother Nathan says you are a poppy head. Oh, well, that's his problem. Uh, how long do you wait to use Yo-Yo Lube? Uh, generally, you should use Yo-Yo Lube whenever the sound of the bearing changes or you feel that the bearing is no longer playing as well as you would like it to. What is better, the shutter, shutter wide angle, or the bimetal shutter? Uh, personally, my favorite is the bimetal shutter, then the shutter wide angle, then the shutter. Um, but if you really want the authoritative, authoritative opinion, I would recommend that you ask Gentry. Uh, Michael, I don't really engage with Instagram, uh, so sorry, but I think it's unlikely that I will follow you. Do you prefer a curved or central track bearing? I prefer the VIP bearing. That one's my favorite. My brother said that sorry. It's all good, Nathan. It's all good. I, I'm not worried about it. Uh, how does a bearing shield help keep dirt out by uh, preventing it from going in? Uh, when will yo-yo gloves be restocked? Uh, so we are currently looking for a glove supplier. Uh, we are very, very close to getting more in stock. I would love to have more gloves in stock within two weeks. Uh, hey, what's up, Jacob? Cool name, man. Uh, let's see. Questions are starting to slow down a little bit. I've been on. I've been on for our, almost an hour and a quarter. Oh, I can see the rest of the YouTube. I, this is a really cool development. I just found out that I can see all the YouTube chat history. Sorry, this is my first time. I'm still learning. Uh, you and Adam are my favorite yo yours. Thanks, man. Don't leave Brian Duncan out of it, though. Do you recommend a hybrid yo-yo? I am biased to how they sound spinning. Plastic metal yo-yos do, in fact, sound better while they're spinning. That is an excellent observation. Um, I would recommend the Iceberg. We're, we're currently out of stock, but we should have more uh, within a couple of weeks. I'm pretty sure IOU already mailed them to us. Uh, can rubbing alcohol clean bearings? I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend something like lighter fluid, acetone, or mineral spirits. Uh, rubbing alcohol very well, very well may work, but I have not tested it personally, so I can't offer an opinion. Uh, Michael, don't worry, I'll be on for a few more minutes at least. Can it possible to tie your own yo-yo bloops? Uh, yeah, you definitely can. I mean, we make them by hand here. Uh, the knot's pretty complicated, but I'm sure that if you apply effort, you can figure something out. My best yo-yo is a Horizon. Ah, everyone's talking. My best yo-yo is a Horizon. What yo-yo should I get? Like a more advanced one. Uh, if you enjoy the Horizon, you very well may enjoy the Marco. That's a bimetal yo-yo that's kind of in the Horizon Design philosophy. Um, so yeah, check that one out. Do you have any tips on how to keep your throw finger from being in pain other than using a glove? Uh, are you referring specifically to how tightly the slip knot rests on your finger? Or are you referring to something else? Oh my god, Jake, you look like Mr. Beast. Oh, thank you. Uh, Jacob, go for bimetal. Don't know what you mean. Oh, okay. Hybrid Ethos has a steel or aluminum weight range. It has the uh, Ethos is 6061 aluminum with a stainless steel weight range. Will the Alice ever be paired with the counterweight you are currently working on when you release it? Uh, that is a discussion that we need to have as a company. Uh, I, I won't say either way right now because I don't know. Uh, I think it'd be really cool if we could, but again, no promises. Especially because the new counterweight that we are working on uh, has to be made by hand and uh, would be very difficult to make with a machine. So um, yeah, we'll have to make it by hand and I'm not sure if we'll be able to keep up volume. Would Adam ever go competitive? Uh, I'm pretty sure Adam has a, a fair competitive side to him. He's certainly competed at the National Yo-Yo National Yo -Yo Contest in the past in 2A. Um, but you should ask him that when he is on his live stream next. Is it possible you will ever sell used yo-yos? Uh, I think that's highly unlikely, uh, but we do intend to start offering more B-grade yo-yos, um, which functionally serve the same purpose. Uh, my shutter yo-yo comes back. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. You should contact us through the contact form on our website, and I can... Uh, hopefully sort things out for you. 
Do you have any yo-yos that are very sentimental to you and what makes them special to you? Uh, I still have the Atlas that I won uh, Worlds with. That one's probably the most special yo-yo to me. I also have um, a wood yo-yo that my grandfather owned when he was a child and he gifted that to me. That's another one of the very sentimental yo-yos I have. And then I also have a uh, pink classic that Yo-Yo Jam made um, to support breast cancer. And my mother had breast cancer when I was growing up. So those are the three kind of sentimental yo-yos that I have on display in my apartment. Uh, will you be re releasing more yo-yos for 5A and 3A? They have very few yo-yos. Well, really any yo-yo works for 5A or 3A as long as it sleeps and is unresponsive. Um, so, you know, we have some yo-yos that I think are uh, excellent for 5A and 3A coming out soon, but we already saw a lot of yo-yos that I think are excellent for 3A and 5A. On reverse B sting, should I kind of toss slash throw the counterweight depending on how much power the yo-yo hits the string? Yes, you should be moving your hand out an arc when you release the counterweight to give it additional energy to aid with your accuracy. From the slit not being tight on the finger because after a couple of throws, it gets tight on my finger. Uh, your skin will toughen up over time. Uh, the more it's exposed to kind of that uncomfortable feeling, it'll just toughen up over time. Otherwise, I would recommend that you look into yo-yo finger tape. It's just a cohesive bandage that you wrap around your finger. You can get it on our website. Or you can get it at any drugstore ever um, or any store ever. Um, and that, that'll, uh, yeah, it'll save your finger. Um, we still got, got a lot of new people rolling in. I mean, the new hybrid ethos show you. It has a stainless steel weight ring, not an aluminum weight ring. Uh, how long the replay pro, pro sleeps depends on you. What is your first yo-yo? Don't really remember, uh, but the Fast 201 was the first yo-yo that I used a lot. What are the first three 5A tricks I should learn? Uh, you should learn all of the tricks in the 5A Fundamental series that I taught. Those tricks were specifically designed to get you up to speed with the skill set that a 5A player needs to uh, succeed in 5A. Uh, I believe there are 10 or 11 tricks in that series currently, uh, and uh, at least in my opinion, and of course I'm biased, uh, there's no better place to start than the, than the 5A Fundamental series that I put out. Other than the Marco, what years do you recommend for vertical play? Uh, really all of them. Uh, it depends mostly on your preferences. You'll have to give me some more information. Do you know where someone should go to get into competitive yo-yoing? Uh, they should first sign on to the level up system on yoyotricks.com and then go to our competition 1A trick playlist or uh, module and uh, you will find many tricks there. Other than that, Google yo-yo yo contest near me and I'm sure that you'll be able to find something within driving distance, hopefully. I have a tough time with undermount figure eight, the counterweight can't follow. Undermount figure eight. Uh, I'm not familiar with that one off the top of my head. Uh, maybe I taught it, I don't know. Uh, I did many of those videos a long time ago, so please specify what you mean in more detail. What your Nama? Uh, I'm assuming you're, you intended to say name, and my name is Jake. Uh, which yo-yo is better, Velocity or the one by Yo-Yo Factory? Uh, almost certainly the Velocity. You'll probably get a lot more play out of that one, but it is um, at least twice the cost. When is the Bimetal Atlas coming out? I'm not sure if the Atlas really lends itself to uh, a bimetal design. The Atlas is uh, more center-weighted center than most yo-yos, and bimetal yo-yos tend to be more um, rim-weighted than conventional model metal yo-yos. So I don't, I don't think that it would work very well. Do you know Gentry Sign? Yep. Do you do double dice? Uh, man, you're really throwing me off with that emoji that you threw in there. Who is the ultimate Kendama? Uh, that's a really good question. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I tried to come up with something funny for you, Ben, but I don't know. I was trying to make like a basketball player joke or something, but it didn't work. Is WD-40 good to use for bearings? No, absolutely not. WD-40 is not a lubricant. It is a water displacement formula. Uh, you should never use WD-40 on your bearings. Uh, do you do double dice? Getting back to that one. Uh, no, honestly, I feel like double dice is kind of limited. Uh, I'm not, like I can do some double dice tricks, 
but I haven't been able to come up with anything that I consider really cool when it comes to devil dice. Are you the yo-yo master that kept on yo-yoing? Uh, I wasn't in the video, but I like to think I was there in spirit. Hey, what's up, Chris? Wait, I can wave to Chris. Neat. You taught it in 2014 when you going to... Oh, okay, that one. This trick, right? Here, Mathis, watch. This one? Love from India, what's up? Aryan, is there an advantage to center-weighted yo-yos? Uh, yeah, center-weighted yo-yos tend to feel a little bit lighter on the string. Um, they feel a little bit more controlled, and that's definitely one of the aspects of the Atlas that people tend to notice. It is a very controlled yo-yo. Can I use hand sanitizer for bearings? I would strongly recommend against it, although I've never tested it myself. Should I get the Atlas or shutter wide angle? Uh, I go, uh, well, the Atlas is a more extreme design than the shutter wide angle, so if you feel like really trying out something new, I'd recommend the Atlas. Uh, if you feel a little risk averse, I would recommend the shutter wide angle. Oh, people are still writing on Instagram, neat. What if people started doing solo ham, but for 5A in competition? I'm not really sure what that would look like. Uh, personally, I'm happy to go on the record to say that solo ham should be in the off-string division, um, and it should not be a separate division. I think that is a poor idea. What are tech tricks? Uh, colloquially, tech tricks are tricks that are technical, uh, that involve a lot of complicated elements. Hey Jake, any more player series coming soon? Uh, we have some more uh, Tyler Severance videos coming out eventually. We've kind of been slowly leaking those out uh, over the past what, year or so, I think at this point. Um, but with the pandemic in our midst, midst, it is unlikely that we will have any uh, new player series anytime soon. Uh, but there could we could have one by the end of the year, I don't know. Uh, I'm just working with the information that I have presently. What age did you first pick up a yo-yo? Uh, probably like three, honestly. I've been playing with yo-yos for my whole life. Tilt camera down just a bit for your tricks. Raise it back. Oh, sorry, Connor. I've been kind of adjusting the iPad as things have been going on. I'll, uh, I'll try to be more mindful of that when I next do tricks. What do you recommend for beginners? to do to stop making mistakes. Uh, be more attentive to what you're doing. Uh, that is to say, be more mindful of what you're doing. <laughs> I know that's not very practical advice, but it's the truth. Uh, that you should be working on developing your attention. Is there a way to keep the slip knot from falling off your finger? Usually having to have a new string, you wanna do many slack tricks in a row. Uh, so there is a little hint that I can offer for keeping the slip knot on your finger. So here, let me take the counterweight off of this cannon and I'll show you on the slip knot. Top Yo Mojo versus Yo-Yo Factory Protostar. Uh, I don't really have opinions in either of those yo-yos. I'm sorry, Mike. Okay, so for a slip knot to not fall off of your finger, uh, what you wanna do is when you have a slip knot together, you'll see that there is one side with two strings and one side with one string, right? You always want the side with two strings to be against your ring finger and not against your pointer finger. So the what direction the uh, slip knot is on your finger matters. It is important. Can you do boing boing with the fizz? I can, uh, other people can, but it is not um, easy. Why are there two types of lube? Uh, thick lube is um, more viscous. I think I'm using that word right, right? Viscous, if something is more viscous, that means it is thicker, like syrup and water. Uh, syrup is more viscous than water. So thick lube is uh, thicker than thin lube and it's used for responsive bearings. Thin lube is more watery and thinner and is used for unresponsive bearings. Yo string says Jake Elliott, bro, what's up? Also, you didn't spell my name correct. In your country it is morning, but in my country it is night. Actually, it is currently 3.32 in the afternoon here in Michigan. What was your first yo-yo? First yo-yo, what's up? Sirius 9305. 
What's up? What was your first yo-yo? Uh, first yo-yo that I used a lot was the Fast Yo one. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to let anyone else in the live stream right now. What is a B-grade yo-yo? B-grade yo-yo is a yo-yo that uh, didn't turn out quite as nice or as perfectly as we would expect for an A-grade yo-yo, so we offer them at a cheaper price. Do you play 3A? Uh, yeah, I do. I do a good handful of 3A. I can do like all the basic tricks. By the way, Jake, there is a question and answer section on Instagram. Uh, I don't engage with social media very much, um, so I'm not familiar with the Q&A section. Um, I will look into that in the future, and hopefully we can utilize it in an effective way. Do you recommend center track or 10 uh, concave bearing? Uh, I, I would recommend the VIP bearing. That's the one that I think is best. I had, I had a hand in designing it. Uh, you know, I'm not just telling you guys I think it's the best because I want you to buy it. Um, I don't make commission. I, I just really think it's the best bearing. How many yo-yos do you take with you when you go on stage to compete? Uh, typically, I will bring three yo-yos. Um, so the one that I'm using, and then I will have two additional replacements. Um, but if, you know, you can bring more, but if you have to switch more than twice, chances are you've already lost, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so three is enough. I would always recommend three yo-yos as a competitive set. In Slovakia, it is 9.33 at night. Oh, well, I hope things are going well in Slovakia. Is it hard to learn 5A? Uh, it's more difficult than learning 1A, but I don't really think it's that difficult. I mean, the first time I ever did trapeze, I had a counterweight in my hand. Does the right string length primarily revolve around how tall uh, you are, or is, is something else just with preference? Uh, chances are somebody who's really tall, or has really long arms, or is otherwise lanky, uh, will enjoy a longer string. That's been my observation in the yo-yo community, um, but it's really just preference. What's up, Chris? Could you give a tiny, tiny hint on the counterweight you are working on, please? Uh, it's related to knights. Knights as in guys with swords and armor. Um, so maybe you'll be able to think of the connection there. That's, I'll tease you with that. It's connected with knights, guys with swords and armors. Uh, hey, Jake, let's be read here. Do you use the clip to hold yo-yo when you're out or do you just put the yo-yo in my pocket? Uh, generally, I don't really carry yo-yos around with me when I'm leaving the house. Uh, I leave some in my car and I have some in my apartment. Um, but generally speaking, I don't carry yo-yo with me. What do you think about Russian yo-yo scene? Do you know any Russian players? Uh, I'm completely unaware of the Russian yo-yo scene and I have no opinions on it. Is it easy to yo-yo? Uh, depends on how skilled you are. Um, and how coordinated you are, but the basic tricks, uh, if someone is willing to put in the effort, you can learn most of the basic tricks in less than five minutes. Uh, should a right angle or cannon for 5A? Cannon. What was my first metal yo-yo? That was the, uh, it was a military green one drop project. I got it for Christmas and I loved it. Why is the Mighty Flea so expensive? Uh, the Mighty Flea is expensive because it's made out of brass, and brass is a very expensive metal, much more expensive than aluminum or steel. Um, also, it has a lot of uh, proprietary parts, so it has its own bearing, and it has its own axle, and its own pad size, and its own string. So there, there are just a lot of business considerations when it comes to the Mighty Flea. Why does it have to be handmade? Uh, well, think about it. You know, I'm not going to spoil that yet. It's a lot of little bits, a lot of little bits that you got to put together. Uh, hi, I have a Velocity Yo-Yo. Glad to hear it. I hope you're enjoying it. Do you know anything about the Top Yo Creator? Nope, I don't. I love where the video where Adam teaches his favorite binds. Uh, I saw this thumbnail for that video. I haven't watched the whole video yet, uh, but I'm excited to watch it. It does look like a fun video. I asked Brian and Adam this question. Now it's time to ask you, are you a gamer? Uh, yeah, I, I've played a fair amount of video games in my time. Uh, currently, I'm kind of trying to take a step away from video games and entertainment in general. 
just as a personal decision. Um, but the most recent video game that I played was Undertale. And uh, man, that was a real sleeper hit. I really had a lot of fun with that game. Uh, what trick should I learn for side mount after trapeze? Uh, I would recommend that you watch our, go into the level up system on our website and uh, go into the first 50 trick modules and you should find a lot of tricks that are appropriate for your skill level there. What type of yo-yo do you prefer? Uh, ones that spin? Uh, beyond that, yo-yos that are wider than conventional yo-yos. Uh, okay guys, it seems like things have really slowed down. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of questions, pretty sure I've answered most of them. If anyone has any last minute burning questions that they'd really like to uh, ask, now is the time to do so. Can you do 5A left-handed? Yep, I can do 5A uh, right-handed and left-handed. Um, one of the things that I really like about 5A is the fact that you can change hands, so I can throw and bind and do fancy tricks with both hands. Uh, that's something I put effort into developing. There's one final question. Can you walk the dog though? Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna walk the dog, uh, but I can walk the dog. Adjusting the camera to get walk the dog to look good. It's not good. Small yo-yos or big yo-yos? Uh, big yo-yos if I'm competing, small yo-yos if I'm carrying them around town. What yo-yo is best for a beginner? I'd recommend either the fit. oh, got a phone call. I'd recommend either the Fizz or the Sage Yo-Yo Starter Pack. Do you have a collection of counterweight art? No, but I do have many counterweights. How good of a beginner yo-yo is a Sage Yo-Yo? Sorry, the uh, phone system in the background is going off. That's that's not for me. Um, I like unresponsive. I like responsive too. Do you have more than 100 yo-yos? Probably. Is there any yo-yo that you looked up to as you were developing your yo-yo style? Uh, all of the great 5A players, um, especially the Japanese players, so Takeshi Matsuri, Takuma Inoue, uh, Hideo Ishida, you know, all these people were my major inspirations. Hey, uh, the Fanatical Gamers, I'd appreciate it if you didn't spam the chat. Uh, and I'm sure uh, the other people in the chat with you would appreciate that as well. Uh, I started playing with yo-yos when I was very, very young. How do you feel about 3D printed counterweights? Uh, I own a 3D printer. I'm not really sold on, um, I don't know, technology yet. I mean, obviously it's really exciting, uh, but I don't see any purpose in using a 3D printed counterweight, although I'm sure that many people have made good uh, 3D printed counterweights. I know that Steve Brown just put some out, uh, and those look really interesting. Takeshi is awesome. Takeshi is awesome. Uh, you know, we we kind of have uh, a certain level of competition between us, although, I mean, I, I never talked to Takeshi, uh, but yeah, Takeshi is he's a very talented yo yo Will you ever seriously compete in the World Yo-Yo Contest again? Uh, I might compete again. Uh, it probably won't be as serious as it was when I first won Worlds, just because that took so much effort. Um, but it's possible that I will compete again in the future. Can you do all first 50 tricks with the Fizz? Um, I'm not exactly sure if you can do every single trick, um, but you should be able to do at least 45 of the 50. I'm just thinking, I'm not sure if gyroscopic flop is in the first 50 tricks, and you definitely can't do that trick with a fizz. Um, some of the, yeah, I believe that it is accurate to say some of the first 50 tricks require an unresponsive yo-yo. Have you met Ben Condé before? Yeah, I've met Ben. Um, I, I've met him probably 10 times over the course of my life. What happened to Astro Style or Double Dice in 5A? Um, no one wanted to innovate with it because it's hard and it's uh, difficult to come up with tricks that are fun to do and tricks that are fun to watch while you're doing uh, Double Dice, although some people have definitely done that effectively. 
Uh, I work full time for YoYoTricks.com. I'm not technically sponsored in the way other players are sponsored, but sure, I'm sponsored. Uh... Hey, Mike. Uh, Mike D. I'd uh, really appreciate it if you would stop spamming the chat. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, ban you, and I don't want to do that. Um, I have no opinion on the Tapio Mojo versus the Yuri Factory Grossar. Is there going to be a B grade Yuri review? Um, highly unlikely. How does it feel to have won 2015 Worlds? Uh, you know, winning the World Yoyo Contest was a lot of fun, and I'm glad I did it. Uh, but would I ever invest uh, that level of work into winning the World Yoyo Contest again? Uh, I think that's unlikely. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Will you guys ever release the Blue Aqua or the Pink Atlas again? You can currently get Pink Atlases as B grades on our website. Uh, the Blue Aqua is the most popular color of the Atlas ever. Um, and when we make more Atlas, we will certainly make more of that color. We will certainly not forget about it. Tips for aerial beasting. Uh, all the tips are in our vi all the tips are in our video. Um, but the most important tip is just to make sure to really bring your hand up so that you can throw the yo-yo into the air by applying force to the string. We guys do an arcade review. Uh, we very well may have one. Uh, but otherwise, I'm sure that we will probably eventually get like a super official one made. Is the arrow good for a beginner? Uh, yeah, the arrow is a good yo-yo. Uh, yeah, it's good. What was your routine when you were practicing for World 2015? How much work did it take? What trick was the hardest to learn? Um, Generally, I would practice for 30 minutes on, then I would take a 30 minute break, and then just keep repeating that throughout the whole day. So, you know, there were some days where I was averaging like six to eight hours of practice a day. Um, that, that was just a schedule that I was able to do at that time. Um, what trick was the hardest for me to learn? It was uh, the switch hand, shoot the moon. Can you show us how you get into your double on split bottom mount for 5A. Uh, I could probably show you, but I don't think I could explain it to you. Longest live on Yo Tricks. This is epic. That's right. Jake Elliott, bring it to you live. An epic live stream. I'm glad. I hope that you guys are enjoying it because I have gone more than twice as long as I was, as I was intending to, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. There, okay, uh, Stanley Sanchez says that we do in fact have an arcade review. Uh, sorry, I, that's not really my area of the business. That is much more Adam's area. I've been trying to land Monkey Madness, having a really hard time getting it smooth. Do you have any additional advice? Uh, there's a real rhythm to it that you kind of have to get a feel for, just like boingy boing. Um, otherwise, I'd recommend that you take it slow and be deliberate with your movements. And then over time, um, what, like they, they have an old Kung Fu saying, that, uh, oh, what's the saying? Uh, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So uh, do your tricks slow and smoothly first and you'll pick up speed eventually. What's the video called? Can you ask him? Uh, sorry, man, I already interrupted the live stream once. I don't really want to risk doing it again. I'm sure if you Google arcade yo-yo review, um, you'll find anything that we've done pretty easily. I have a question. What is the difference between a center track and a concave? Uh, the shapes of the bearings are different. Um, we will be answering that question in a lot of detail uh, within the next uh, few weeks when we come out with the VIP bearing. And which one is better? Uh, I prefer the concave over the center track, um, but I prefer the VIP bearing over both. Jake gives the best life and yo-yo advice. Um, well, I certainly wouldn't agree with that, but I hope that you find some of the things that I have to say useful. Uh, and I love you, Chris. What's up, man? Uh, is Adam a funny or a serious guy? Um, I think it depends on how he wants to come across. Are you guys going to have more colors for the B-grade Atlas? Uh, no, we are only going to have green, pink, and gray. Just use that advice for the aerial BC and got it second try. Awesome, Garrett. Glad I could pass on some wisdom. Uh, keep working on those aerials. 
what is the difference between a concave bearing, Diffio concave bearing, and a normal concave bearing? Uh, I'm not exactly sure where Diffio gets his bearings made or uh, what, how, how he does that whole thing, how he does that whole thing. Uh, but at least in my experience, Diffio concave bearings are the highest quality string centering bearings um, that we don't make. What's up, Chris? Uh, Jake, how many yards do you have in your collection? Honestly, I have no idea. I have a feeling the new counterweight is chainmail. Um, I think that's an interesting observation. Uh, what is the difference between bearing and ball bearing yo-yos? Uh, probably what you're referring to with bearing is a transaxle yo-yo, which is not a uh, which is a plastic or a metal sleeve that goes around an axle. It's not a true ball bearing. Business is like a sandwich. Uh, business is like a sandwich. Yes. Is the hook trick picky? I don't know what you mean by that. Can you help with the throwdown? Uh, not on this live stream, but I would recommend that you watch our um, how to yo-yo with your first yo-yo video that has a lot of really excellent information that should uh, make things easier for you. Can you make a tutorial for your 5A horizontal combo that you did at Worlds? Uh, I did a handful of horizontal combos. Which one are you referring to specifically? What is your favorite yo-yo? Uh, currently, it is the codename Pelican, um, which we will hopefully be coming out with very soon. What's up, Eldon? How you doing? Man, a lot of you guys have been sticking around for a long time. I've been sticking around for a long time. Are the wide yo-yos better for beginners? Uh, generally speaking, the wider your yo-yo is, the easier it will be to land the yo-yo on the string. Hey, sorry, Mike. Sorry, didn't want to do it. Now I'm going to have to uh, remove you. I have literally nothing to do. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I probably have more important things that I could be doing. Any tips for the first throw for horizontals? Uh, we have horizontal tutorials on our website. I'd recommend that you check those out. You know, we, we put a lot of love in. You know, I don't want to uh, sound dismissive by uh, continuing to say that people should check out our videos, but we really do put a lot of hard work into those. And you know, the tips that I can tell you now are the tips that we have in the video. Um, without any more like specific feedback from you, that's really the best information I can give. On the one-handed pinwheel 5A trick, uh, yeah, that was pretty tough. Uh, I'd recommend that you get good at 360 first, um, and that should make things easier. Mike, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not hip with all this cool kid lingo. Horizontal is hard, horizontal is hard. Um, when I was putting in, um, you know, when I was practicing to learn horizontal tricks, at the very beginning, I had a lot of difficulty with it, but I kept putting in effort, and over time, I got it. That's that's really what it is. You just gotta keep putting in effort, um, keep trying new things, and you'll get it eventually. Discouragement is probably the worst thing that can happen for a yo-yo player. Why does it take so long to earn your own signature yo-yo? Like, how much would a player need to do to earn one? Uh, well, I mean, it only takes as long as it takes for you to find someone who's interested in sponsoring you. Um, so if you want to, if you want your own signature yo-yo faster, uh, practice more. It's really the best advice. Practice more and make yourself more marketable. You don't have to be a good yo-yo player to be marketable. When is the iYoYo Iceberg gonna restock? Uh, hopefully soon. Uh, iYoYo already mailed us the iceberg that we wanted. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we'll have them within a few weeks. Thanks, Michael. Is there a trick called 720? Um, someone's probably called a trick that in the past. Best yo-yo in the world according to me? Uh, probably the Atlas or the uh, Solstice, which will soon be coming out. How many times have you hit your head? I mean, many times. You can see my hair is all falling out. Uh, no, I, uh, I've chipped teeth uh, with yo-yos. I've, I've injured myself horribly. I've hit myself many times. Have you, 
Have you heard about the Factory Boost Square? Uh, yeah, it, it looks like that was a uh, private project that Alex Satori did. Uh, and it's pretty neat. I'd love to play with one, but I haven't. Random question, but why do you wear only two jackets in Yotrix tutorials? Uh, we like to keep our outfits similar across uh, our tutorials, although we haven't always, um, just because it helps people identify us as individuals a little bit easier. All right, Michael, I, I, I think I got to go uh, work on other things. I'm sure Adam O'Brien is watching this live stream and is wondering, why is Jake live streaming for so long? So I'll answer your one last question, but then I got to go. Uh, so make it good. Do you remember the Yogi Factory Super Wide? Certainly do. In my opinion, the Atlas is better, but um, I know the Super Wide has a lot of fans. Uh, how do you feel about PewDiePie joining Yo-Yo Gang? Um, you know, I, I really have no opinions on PewDiePie as an individual. He's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. Um, but anything that gets uh, Yo-Yoing in front of more people's eyes, I think is only good for Yo-Yoing. Right, because that's what we all want. We all want a nice, healthy, vibrant yo-yo community where we can share tricks and share yo-yos and have a lot of fun. And the more people who are yo-yoing, just makes that easier. See you, Mathis. It's cool talking to you. I'll uh, probably catch you guys next Thursday. And uh, last call. This is the last call. You have 15 seconds to tell me if you want to ask me a good question. What string length do I use? Uh, full length, cage free, I'm 5'10". I like unresponsive yo-yoing and responsive yo-yoing. Okay, none of, these, none of these are pressing or pertinent questions. So I think I'm gonna sign off. I had a lot of fun with you guys. I hope to do this next Thursday. I'm 25 years old, uh, soon to be 26 in October. Um, and I will, uh, yeah, see you guys next Thursday, probably. And uh, you will see either Adam or Brian um, much sooner than that. So I'm going to let you guys go and uh, see you. Bye, Jake. It's been fun. Don't forget me. I won't forget you. See you, Michael. And uh, see everybody else. Okay. I'm now off Instagram. Last 10 second call on YouTube. It's just, it's just you and me, guys. Uh, so any last questions? That's just your name, that's not a question. Sleep time depends on how hard you throw the yo-yo. I already answered that. All right, guys, I'm off. I will, for hybrid recommendations, I recommend the iceberg. See ya.